The House will come to order. <laughs> Motions and resolutions. <clears throat> Long moves that House Law number 2369 be taken from the table. Representative Long. That is my motion, Madam Speaker. Representative Long moves that House file 2369 be taken from the table. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed, please say no. The motion prevails. The clerk will report the bill. The clerk will report the bill. House file number 2369, an act relating to labor, the second engrossment. Members, when we left off, we were on the DE amendment and we were doing amendments to the amendments. The clerk will report the DE amendment. Hassan moves to amend House Bill number 2369, the second engrossment as amended. The amendment is coded DE 12. There's an amendment to the amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. <clears throat> O'Neill moves to amend the Hassan Amendment to House Bill Number 2369, the second engrossment as amended. The amendment to the amendment is coded A-19. The member from right, Representative O'Neill. Thank you, Madam Speaker and members. Yes, the A-19 is mine. Um, I do ask for a roll call, Madam Speaker. Representative O'Neill requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Representative O'Neill. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, this is a simple uh, amendment, similar to the ones I had had before, and it just permanently deactivates a driver who has a stay of adjudication, which is the important part, because that may not be part of the background check, um, or a conviction for a felony level harassment or stalking. I ask for your support. Representative Hassan. Thank you, Madam Speaker and uh, members. Um, I said this last night, I'm going to say it again, these things are all things that are already illegal, but vote green. The clerk will take the roll on the O'Neill Amendment. <laughs> Members, please vote. The clerk will close the roll. There being 130 ayes and zero nays, the motion prevails, the amendment is adopted. There is an amendment at the desk, the clerk will report the amendment. Daniels moves to amend House File Number, moves to amend the Hassan Amendment to House File Number 2369, the second engrossment as amended. The amendment to the amendment is coded A31. The member from Rice, Representative Daniels, to your amendment. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, the A31 just simply says drivers will be permitted, permanently deactivated for committing violations of the Americans with Disabilities Act as required by the driver's contract. I just ask for a green vote. And a roll call. And a roll call. Thank you. Representative Daniels requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Discussion on the amendment. The member from Hennepin, Representative Frazier. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Representative Daniels, for this amendment. I am going to uh, ask members to vote this amendment down. I do have a copy of the contracting policies here for Lyft and Uber, and they do uh, require that riders do not discriminate against individuals that require, um, require accommodations under the ADA. So that is covered, so I would ask members for a no vote on this amendment to the amendment. Any further discussion? Seeing none, the clerk will take the roll on the amendment. The clerk will close the roll. There being 61 ayes and 69 nays, the motion does not prevail. The amendment is not adopted. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. <clears throat> West moves to amend. The Hassan Amendment to House File Number 2369, the second engrossment as amended. The amendment to the amendment is coded A44. The member from Minoka, Representative West. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I request a roll call. Representative West requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Representative West. This amendment uh, makes drivers subject to deactivation if they are uh, use prohibited use of a wireless device. Discussion to the amendment. Representative Knorr. 
Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. The penalty under the hands-free law is $50 first offence and also $275 on the second offence. Uh, technically, this is a payable offence. If it's a reckless or careless driving, then it moves to become a criminal. So I will ask you to vote no on this amendment. See no further discussion. The clerk will take the roll on the amendment. The clerk will close the roll. There being 60 ayes and 70 nays, the motion does not prevail. The amendment is not adopted. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. Myers moves to amend the Hassan Amendment to House File Number 2369, the second engrossment as amended. The amendment to the amendment is coded A33. The member from Hennepin, Representative Myers. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The A33 amendment is just requiring that uh, service be provided to all areas in the city, so I'd ask everybody to vote green. Representative Myers requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Discussion, Representative Noor. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. The TNC are licensed by local government, so this is already covered by the ordinances at local government. Please vote no. The clerk will take the roll on the amendment. The clerk will close the roll. There being 61 ayes and 69 nays, the motion does not prevail. The amendment is not adopted. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. Nash moves to amend the Hassan Amendment to House File Number 2369. The second engrossment as amended. The amendment to the amendment is coded A22. The member from Carver, Representative Nash. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would request a roll call. Representative Nash requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Representative Members Nash. Members vote green. Members vote green. Discussion on the amendment. Representative them. Greenman. My fingers won't uh, thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. And uh, for folks who uh, read the amendment, um, this um, clearly violates the supremacy clause. The state uh, law can't uh, waive or exempt federal law, so it's unconstitutional. Please vote no. Seeing no further discussion, the clerk will take the roll on the amendment. The clerk will close the roll. There being 58 ayes and 69 nays, the motion does not prevail. The amendment is not adopted. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. Doubt moves to amend the Hassan Amendment to House File Number 2369. Second engrossment as amended. The amendment to the amendment is coded A21. The member from Isanti, Representative Doubt. Thank you, Madam Speaker and members. Uh, A21 amendment, uh, please vote. <laughs> what are we doing? Do you guys want it too? You want a roll call? Come on. Madam Speaker, I request a roll call. Please Representative vote Representative Dow requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Discussion to the amendment. Representative Knorr. Please vote no. Seeing no further discussion, the clerk will take the roll on the amendment. The clerk will close the roll. Franson votes aye. There being 61 ayes and 69 nays, the motion does not prevail. The amendment is not adopted. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. <clears throat> West moves to amend the Hassan Amendment to House File Number 2369, the second Grossman as amended. The amendment to the amendment is coded A13. Representative West requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. The member from Minoka, Representative West, to Vote your green. amendment. Vote. Vote green. Discussion. Representative Knorr. Vote no. Seeing no further discussion, the clerk will take the roll on the amendment. The 
clerk will close the roll. There being 60 ayes and 69 nays, the motion does not prevail. The amendment is not adopted. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. I go moves to amend the Hassan Amendment to House Bill number 2369, the second gross one as amended. The amendment to the amendment is coded A23. Representative Igo. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to request a roll call. Representative Igo requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Representative Igo. It's a good amendment. Vote green. Discussion to the amendment. Representative Knorr. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Please vote no. Seeing no further discussion, the clerk will take the roll on the amendment. The clerk will close the roll. There being 61 ayes and 68 nays, the motion does not prevail. The amendment is not adopted. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. O'Driscoll moves to amend the Hassan Amendment to House File Number 2369, the second engrossment as amended. The amendment to the amendment is coded A26. The member from Stearns, Representative O'Driscoll. Oh, Madam Speaker, as so you can see by the hands, we have more than 15. Would you like a roll call, please? Representative O'Driscoll requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Representative O'Driscoll. I strongly encourage a yes vote on the A26 amendment that protects proprietary information of the uh, TNCs. Discussion to the O'Driscoll Amendment to the Amendment. Representative Noor. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Please vote no. Seeing no further discussion, the clerk will take the roll on the amendment. The clerk will close the roll. There being 60 ayes and 69 nays, the motion does not prevail. The amendment is not adopted. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. Robbins moves to amend the Hassan Amendment to House Hall Number 2369, the second of gross one as amended. The amendment to the amendment is coded A35. The member from Hennepin, Representative Robbins. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to request a roll call. Representative Robbins requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Representative Robbins. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Just so the public knows, this is an amendment that would require that um, you spell out the difference between the cost um, under the new scheme versus what it would have been so people understand that they are paying now for a new state mobile ride-sharing tax. Thank you. Vote green. Discussion to the Robbins Amendment. Representative Knorr. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Please vote no. Seeing no further discussion, the clerk will take the roll on the amendment. The clerk will close the roll. There being 61 ayes and 69 nays, the motion does not prevail. The amendment is not adopted. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. <coughs> Backer moves to amend the Hassan Amendment to House Bill number 2369. The second engrossment as amended. The amendment to the amendment is coded A53. The member from Traverse, Representative Backer. Roll call vote, Madam Speaker. Representative Backer requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Representative Backer. Um, this amendment would make sure that um, costs for non-emergency medical transportation would not change under this bill. Vote green. Discussion. Representative Knorr. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. That's a DHS <laughs> issue, which will be the next uh, bill coming to us. Please vote no. Seeing no for the discussion, the clerk will take the roll on the amendment. The clerk will close the roll. There being 61 ayes and 68 nays, the motion does not prevail. The amendment is not adopted. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. 
NISCA moves to amend the Hassan Amendment to House File Number 2369. The second and gross one as amended. The amendment to the amendment is coded A52. The member from Minoka, Representative NISCA. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to request a roll call. Representative Niska requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Representative Niska. Thank you, Madam Speaker. This, uh, this amendment is just to provide a, a, a mechanism for civil justice for those who might be harmed by the cumbersome deactivation process in this bill. It, it provides a cause of action against the state of Minnesota for crimes. As a result of that, I encourage members to vote green. Discussion to the amendment. Representative Pinto. This would authorize unfair and nonsensical lawsuits against the state of Minnesota. Please vote no. Seeing no further discussion, the clerk will take the roll on the amendment. The clerk will close the roll. There being 61 ayes and 69 nays, the motion does not prevail. The amendment is not adopted. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. O'Neill moves to amend the Hassan Amendment to House File Number 2369, the second and Grossman as amended. The amendment to the amendment is coded A34. The member from Wright, Representative O'Neill. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I request a roll call. Representative O'Neill requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Representative O'Neill. Thank you, Madam Speaker. This amendment ensures that the passenger's report is presumed to be substantially credible unless the uh, driver presents evidence to the contrary. I ask you for your support. Discussion to the amendment. Representative Noor. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Please vote no. Seeing no further discussion, the clerk will take the roll on the amendment. <laughs> the clerk will close the roll. There being 61 ayes and 69 nays, the motion does not prevail. The amendment is not adopted. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. Doubt moves to amend the Hassan Amendment to House File Number 2369. The second, a gross one as amended. The amendment, the amendment is coded A54. The member from Isanti, Representative Doubt. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I've got a good one here. Uh, in the same spirit that uh, Mayo, Clinic, Mayo Clinic is exempted from the nurse staffing ratios, uh, this one would exempt uh, Uber drivers who are carrying uh, royalty, specifically kings and princes, uh, so they won't have to, uh, they'll be exempted from this uh, underlying bill as well. And I'd like a roll call, Madam Speaker. Representative Doubt requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Representative Noor. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, the people of Wakanda are absolutely devastated right now. <laughs> What you know, you when we talk about the king, T'Challa, but we're forgetting queen in that area. So Wakanda forever, please vote no. The clerk will take the roll on the amendment. Missed all of them. Members, please vote. The clerk will close the roll. <laughs> there being 59 ayes and 70 noes, the motion does not prevail. The amendment is not adopted. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. Hudson moves to amend the Hassan Amendment to House File Number 2369, the second and gross one as amended. The amendment to the amendment is coded A57. The member from Wright, Representative Hudson. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I request a roll call vote. Representative uh, Wright, Representative Hudson requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Representative Hudson. Members, please vote green. Discussion on the uh, Hudson Amendment. Representative Tabke. Point of order, Madam Speaker, under House Rules 3.21. Please state your point of order. <laughs> Uh, point of order, this is not germane. There's nothing that includes uh, Chapter 609 in the bill. I find the point of order well taken. Discussion, Madam Representative Speaker, Hudson. Uh, I would like to challenge the ruling of the Speaker and request a roll call vote. Representative Hudson appeals the ruling of the Speaker and requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Any discussion? Vote red, please. Seeing none, the clerk will take the roll on the appeal.
The clerk will close the roll. I can't even write that down. There being 69 ayes and 61 nays, it is a judgment of the House that the decision of the Speaker shall stand. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. Damoth moves to amend the Hassan Amendment to House Hall number 2369, the second engrossment as amended. The amendment to the amendment is coded A47. The member from Stearns, Representative Damoth. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And the A47 members would appropriate $200 million for nursing home funding. That is something that we have talked about the very beginning of the session all the way through. The need has not gone away. We haven't solved that, and I would request a roll call. Please vote green. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Discussion. The member from St. Louis, Representative Olson. Point of order, Madam Speaker. Please state your point of order. I rise to a point of order under Rule 4.05. As Representative Demuth just said, this adds $200 million in spending to the bill, so it is out of order. I find the point of order well taken. Representative Damoth. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I would appeal the ruling of the Speaker. Request a roll call and please vote red. Representative Damoth appeals the ruling of the Speaker. Request a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Seeing no further discussion, the clerk will take the roll on the appeal. <laughs> the clerk will close the roll. She said 4.05 and not 4.03. There being 69 ayes and 61 nays, it is the judgment of the House that the decision of the Speaker shall stand. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. <clears throat> Angan moves to amend the Hassan Amendment to House Hall number 2369, the second engrossment as amended. The amendment to the amendment is coded A15. The member from Anoka, Representative Engen. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I would like to request a roll call. Representative Engen requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Thank you, members. Representative Engen. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, members. Please vote green. Discussion to the Engen Amendment. Point of order, Madam Speaker. Representative Frederick. Uh, point of order, Madam Speaker, House Rule 3.21, motion, motions and propositions must be germane. Uh, Chapter 297A is not in the bill. I find the point of order well taken. Representative Engen. Madam Speaker, I'd like to appeal the ruling of the Speaker and request a roll call vote. Representative Engen appeals the ruling of the Speaker, requests a roll call. Any discussion? Seeing none, the clerk will take the roll on the appeal. The clerk will close the roll. <laughs> there being 69 ayes and 61 nays, it is the judgment of the House that the decision of the Speaker shall stand. There is an amendment at the desk. The clerk will report the amendment. <clears throat> NISCA moves to amend the Hassan Amendment to House Hall number 2369, the second engrossment as amended. The amendment to the amendment is coded A7. The member from Minoka, Representative Niska. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I'd like to request a roll call. Representative Niska requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Representative Niska. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The A7 amendment is a simple technical amendment that fixes a drafting error in the underlying uh, DE amendment. It, the DE amendment on uh, line uh, 4.13 lists several protected uh, terms that, that invoke protected classes under Chapter 363A, but it doesn't define what any of those terms are, such as sexual orientation, gender identity, disability, uh, race, national origin, etc. So this uh, closes the, the, the potential for misinterpretation there by referencing Chapter the 363A, where those terms are defined or ha and have a defined meaning, and then it also um, includes within mm -hmm. uh, the, those protected classes or excludes from those protected classes the same uh, clarifying language that this body approved uh, on a 126 to 0 vote um, in a, in a uh, previous bill a couple uh, weeks ago that has been dropped from uh, the, the bill that was sent to the governor's desk. So this is just an opportunity for members uh, to, again, uh, send over to the Senate this language and make sure that the position of the House is clear. I encourage members to vote green. Madam Member from Ramsey, Becker Finn. 
Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Point of order under Rule 3.21, motions and propositions must be germane. The NISCA pedophile amendment is a completely different chapter of laws, clearly not germane. Further, this is an amendment to the amendment, so even narrower. I know there's some, been some gnashing of teeth about who is an expert, but I do teach legislative process and Mitchell Hamlin, and this is very clearly not germane under any reading of our rules. I find the point of order well taken. Representative Niska. Madam Speaker, I appeal the ruling of the chair and request a roll call. Representative Niska requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Any discussion on the appeal? Representative Niska. Thank you, Madam Speaker. This is, uh, 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 in addition to the points I made earlier about why this is obviously uh, the, the terms that we are using in the DE amendment are terms that only make sense if we reference uh, Chapter 363A. We had a lot of discussion yesterday on this bill about the potential for unaccompanied minors, for example, uh, the, the need sometimes for them to be using the services in question. And so uh, I think this uh, exclusion is particularly appropriate as we're considering this. And so I encourage members, especially those members who have had uh, uh, constituents reach out to them and are concerned about this uh, not being included in, in Minnesota law, that, that they take this opportunity to, to go ahead and vote on this amendment and uh, find the, and overturn the ruling of the speaker. So I encourage members to vote red. Seeing no further discussion, the clerk will take the roll on the appeal. The clerk will close the roll. There being 69 ayes and 60 nays, it is the judgment of the House that the decision of the Speaker shall stand. There are no further amendments at the desk. The clerk will give the bill its third reading. Oh, I'm sorry. We better vote on that DE. I don't know if there's a roll call on the DE. There, there Madam Speaker, no I request a roll call. On the Representative Doubt requests a roll call. Seeing 15 hands, there will be a roll call. Seeing no further discussion, the clerk will take the roll on the DE. <laughs> Members, please vote. The clerk will close the roll. There being 91 ayes and 34 nays, the motion prevails. The amendment is adopted. There are no further amendments at the desk. The clerk will give the bill its third reading. Third reading, House file number 2369, as amended. Third reading, as amended. Discussion to the bill. Representative Doubt. Thank you, Madam Speaker and members. Uh, thank you for uh, indulging our amendments on this particular bill. I want to thank the, the Uber and Lyft drivers that are here and have uh, been active through this process. Uh, thank you to Representative Hassan and uh, the other uh, authors of the bill for allowing me to get involved in this kind of unintentionally, but it's been, it's been fun to work with you, and um, I hope I can continue to do that. If this for some reason goes to conference and you need an extra person on the conference committee, I'd be happy to do that. Um, I, to, the, to the drivers that, that have participated for the last couple of days, uh, I spoke to some of you out in the lobby, um, but thank you for being here. Thank you for participating in the process. Uh, we want you to know that we do support you, and and uh, support your, your ability to, to be a small business owner here in Minnesota. Um, and and we uh, you know, want to make sure that, that we find the right solution uh, to this uh, bill. And uh, leaving here, it, it may not uh, get signed into law in this format. I think everybody knows that. And maybe there's still some work to do. Uh, but uh, we just want to make sure that you know that we support you and, and uh, uh, looking forward to working on this bill a little bit more before it goes to the governor's desk. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Further discussion? The member from Stearns, Representative Damoth. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, members, tonight, as we have debated this bill, and even last night, um, it is an important bill. 
it's an important discussion to the drivers that are here. Thank you for being here. We all rely on Uber and Lyft drivers so many times, so thank you for the work that you do. Unfortunately, I am going to encourage a no vote on this bill, members. As presented, this would raise the cost of Uber and Lyft. This would raise the expense that would be um, there, which would potentially drive down ridership. That would hurt our businesses, that would hurt the drivers, and we want to make sure that we are doing the right thing, as you've heard amendments, um, to make things safer and continue the good work that is being done. This bill is not the right way to handle it, and I would encourage a no vote. The member from Ramsey, Representative Hussein. Thank you. Uh, I just want to thank Representative Hassan for fighting for this bill, and, and and also I want to thank for our community who are here tonight, outside. They're demanding for justice, and uh, many Uber and Lyft drivers have faced many challenges, including low wage, lack of access of benefit, and just as business practices. We heard enormous story about them. It's been attacked while they're driving. Some of them get killed, and no one has ever taken care of them. They also stuck a car that they still making a payment to it, even if they quit for the job. The drivers also tell us that they're struggling to pay their rent because they're not getting paid enough. We are not taking care of them. We heard money bills that came to the floor. We heard about the Amazon. We heard about other bills that we took care of them, but this is not different from any other bills. We need to listen to our constituents. They're telling us they're not making enough money. They're paying the car, they're paying the gas, they're paying for insurance, and they're paying the gas, as you know how much it costs. Four dollar gallon, three dollars. And how much are you getting paid now? 85 cents. Can someone make a living in 85 cents? I'm asking you all. No. Due to that, for those money challenges, Minnesota, we have an opportunity to earn a fair wage and build a better life for those individuals that came forward protesting and asking for our legislators. Because we are the lawmakers. We shouldn't be listening to corporate America. We should listen to for those individuals that are telling us they cannot leave. They don't have enough money. Are we waiting until they become a homeless? This is the time that we need to take care of them, and I will thank all my colleagues who came forward to uh, voting for this bill. This is justice for those individuals that are asking, and we need to take care for those drivers. Thank you for being here. Well, my sentin da mantin, adiat ba do my sentin awena no we maten sidano kalisi kalamida ayahadi acharne go dagalamena. Thank you very much. And the author of the bill, the member from Hennepin, Representative Hassan. Thank you, Madam Speaker and members. Thank you for the conversation last night and tonight. Um, this was intense, just waiting to hear this bill in the last um, 24 hours. I first, if you will indulge me when I speak to the community, Salam alaikum wa mahat sintihin wa han rabayana idin shayago qofki dagalama wu guleista. Our Gusha idin so hoyate, and even Meli idin kaya scale, Mahayele, Hal Sanaba de Galamason. Marco Adi Adba and Kuma had Linea, I know Labadi Malmo, the wooden bay, the Batabadan in a hate in admission for the Dan or Sukhtan Bilkan, Marmurka Karko, the Omelasan and Kuriare, no process can process other or Dibadan, like in Hadogatan, in an even get up tag and hay. Thank you, Madam Speaker and members, and thank you for indulging me to address the community. Uh, These folks have been here. Yesterday, 
I remember when we gaveled in, I went out and talked to them and I said, hey, you guys, this is going to be a long day. Just go home, go do your work and come back. They told me they're not going anywhere. So they were with us all day yesterday. They left here last night at around 11. And I told them, I said, we won't be doing this, Bill. You go home. And even some of them said, can we sleep here? Because we don't want to go home. We want to get this over with. I just want to uh, thank everybody for the conversation uh, I know it's late at night, so I want to keep it short. I just want to uplift a few stories. I, I don't know if Abdullahi is up there. Abdullahi is a guy who came to our hearings wearing a bloody blood stain, a shirt that has blood stains. That's the shirt that he was wearing the day that he gave a ride to somebody. And when the ride was finished, the guy just hit him with a metal bar, took his phone, and left him for their bleeding he went to the hospital. He was taken by an ambulance to the hospital. He was in the hospital for three months. And after he came out of the hospital, his account was deactivated. I also want to up, uh, uplift a story about Gari Abdi. Gari Abdi is a woman who is a single mom raising six kids by herself. Her husband was shot to death and, and died on the scene uh, when he was finishing uh, an, an Uber um, ride. I also want to uplift another gentleman who I'm sorry that I did not remember his name, but he gave a ride to a group of teenagers, and after the ride was over, they shot him on the leg six times. Those are the stories of these drivers. That's the stories of why we're doing what we're doing today. So I want to remind folks what is at stake. That's why I'm telling you these stories. Uh, <clears throat> I just want to say that some, some, some folks may say, this bill is not needed. This bill is needed. If these folks are working day in and day out, and they're small business owners, and every single one of you here did once or twice say that they care about small business owners, these are small business owners. We should care to protect them and make sure that they get paid for the work that they're doing for us that's vital for our state. I want to leave you with these words tonight. If your business model relies on keeping your workers in poverty, you do not have a viable business model. And you should do better, and we expect you to do better in Minnesota. Dr. Mar Martin Luther King said, the labor movement was the principal force that transformed misery and hope, misery and despair into hope and progress. Let's transform the misery and despair these drivers brought to us into hope and progress. Let's vote green. Thank you. Members and guests, I just want to remind the body that it is um, important that while we're in the chamber that we are quiet and if there's any celebration that we make sure that we're doing any celebrating and noise making in the rotunda after the House adjourns. The clerk will take the roll on the bill. The clerk will close the roll. There being 69 ayes and 61 nays, the bill is passed as amended and its title agreed to. Motions and resolutions. There are copies of the non-controversial motions at the House desk and online. If there's no objection, we'll take action on these motions first. Hearing no objection, the motions prevail. Representative Long. Madam Speaker, I move that when the House adjourns today, it adjourns until 11 a.m. Friday, May 19th, 2023. Representative Long moves that when the House adjourns today, it adjourns until 11 a.m. Friday, May 19th, 2023. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed, please say no. Representative, uh, the motion prevails. Representative Long. Madam Speaker, I move that the House do now adjourn. Representative Damoth.
Thank you, Madam Speaker. Just a point of clarification, and I'm wondering if the majority leader would um, yield for a question. He will um, yield. Representative Long. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I see that we are coming back tomorrow instead of in February, so thank you for clarifying that. Um, I just want to um, point out and ask the question. Um, we know that we have a number of bills ahead of us uh, as far as budget bills that have to be done before we actually adjourn. According to what I have um, been able to gather from the website, it looks like state government, um, there was a conference committee report that was posted at 11 o'clock this morning. Um, Human Services, a conference committee report that was posted at 1224 today. My question, Majority Leader Long, is when do you expect those bills to come up, and then when could we expect the conference committees that we so need to finish this work on transportation, on taxes, and on health. Representative Long. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you for the question, Leader Damoth. So we will be taking up uh, state government finance bill tomorrow. The uh, human services bill will begin in the Senate tomorrow morning, and we expect to take that up uh, later in the day tomorrow when we receive the message from the Senate. And then in terms of the other bills that you have mentioned, we are uh, getting very close to being able to post uh, those bills and move them forward in the process, so we expect to be able to take those all up in the coming days. Representative Tama. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and Majority Leader Long, I appreciate the information that you gave. We look forward to that work, and I want it noted for the state of Minnesota that we are ready and willing to do the work at hand and the budget bills are the work at hand, and we are waiting for that. In no way is there any delay or any tactic from the Republican Party to delay things in any way. There are no bills to be taken up. That's why we're doing other bills on the calendar. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Representative Long moves that the House do now adjourn. All those in favor, please say aye. aye. Those opposed, please say no. The motion prevails. The House stands adjourned until 11 a.m. Friday, May 19th, 2023.